so we're here with a video that is a little different. Um, I pride myself on being very good when it comes to being busy, but also being able to do a million different things. Granted, my day does start at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm in bed by like 9 o'clock at night. Um, everybody always asks us how many hours sleep. You do the math. Um, so, I get a lot done. So I work for the first two hours of the day. I'm critiquing food logs. I never take a vacation from my clients. Then I do cardio before my kids wake up. I always tell clients, if you're not somebody that has to leave the house at 5 o'clock in the morning to go to work and obviously be ready, you know, I don't expect people to wake up as early as I do. But I do say that there's always a way. I got two kids. They're both asleep. Um, you could do a quick little scan around and see about all the equipment that I have. But not everybody has that kind of equipment. So we got the stair mill, we got the bike, I know it's kind of dark in there, um, and then we got the battle ropes, we got the ball slam, we got the squat rack. But again, not everybody has access to all that kind of stuff. However, you can make it work in reference to getting in your cardio workouts with whatever. I mean, I used to jump rope also, we do have a treadmill in the garage. But this video is mainly about teaching you about time management and how to get yourself set up. I am extremely OCD when it comes to making sure that I get everything right. So not everybody um, uh, is, and again, some of this stuff that you're going to notice is, you know, there's a lot of stuff on the counter. M most people that are on the channel aren't looking for what I'm looking for. So I'm looking to gain weight, get back on stage at some point, um, and that's not what I specialize in, and I will never, ever, 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 did I say ever, uh, prep people for shows. That's not my specialty. So I do have somebody that, preps me for shows, which is why I'm not really going to show a lot about what's going on up here. I'm just teaching you about how to set yourself up for success, how to game plan if you are one of my clients or if you're just somebody that follows us for fitness tips, uh, nutrition information, possibly one day might want to be a client. Um, if you are looking to do prep competitions, um, Johnny Castellina, I think that's the way you say it, um, he is my prep coach. But so I have a certain rotation that I do. So we're not going to kind of show everything because ethically I don't think that that's right. I hire him to work with me specifically. So I'm not going to ever do a video about what I'm eating now, but we'll do our own videos on food and guidelines and stuff like that. So I have everything set up perfect for me. So I got my off days food plan, I got my leg day food plan, and I got my upper body day food plan. So everything is set up over here. I got my rotation of my workouts. I got my pills that I take at night, my pills that I take in the morning, and then I got specifically my important day to me is my leg day because that's ultimately what I want is to get bigger legs. So if you can kind of see, I am all about, I got my, these are my amino acids, and this is my stack for what I'm going to take at night, and this is my stack for what I'm going to take in the morning. Now, uh, you'll also see that I got my food here. So this is basically what I had, and I'll open it up in a second. This is what I had for this morning. So when I left the house at 7 o'clock, I had my breakfast, I had my pre-workout meal, and I had my post. I do talk about getting yourself set for success for the whole entire day. I know I get to come home at 12 o'clock. Um, so that's why I only have these meals. But if I was out for the whole entire day, I would prep for the whole entire day. So... I have all my, so what I'm using for my pre-workout is right here. So this I had already set with my Ziploc bag. Um, then in here, so I had, this was my post sweet potatoes, uh, pre-sweet potatoes. This is uh, my fish oils that I have. This is where my um, uh, chicken was. Then I had my protein shake in here, and this was just my water to keep it cool. Um, and then this is my pre-workouts. Um, so... I have everything set and I have my smaller because I have a little bit more carbs before my meal and then, I mean a little bit less carbs before my, my workout and then more carbs after. I actually did have two other things stay here, I don't want you to see my dirty sink, but this I had at the studio, it had my oatmeal and my eggs and then I gave it to my husband because he was at the studio and he took it home for me, but this was also in that bag. So. I literally get everything set up the night before in my refrigerator. So I'm also going to show you that. I'm very anal with my setup. So right here, I have a little less protein on my post-workout. 
then this is, so this is one serving size of ounces, and then I got some more sweet potatoes already made back there. This is a couple more, but of a different serving size of protein. So a certain amount of ounces, less ounces here, a little bit more ounces. And then on my no cardio days, um, I'm, I'm sorry, on my no lifting days, I do more protein. So I got those in the back over there. So everything is set up, and then I got my salads and my cucumbers, um, and then my vegetables. I didn't make this. This is my husband's pre-work, uh, pre-set uh, up meals. These are the egg whites that we use. This is the baby's protein. Um, and then, of course, my water and all my eggs. My egg whites are in there, my spinach. So that is pretty much, I mean, I have most of my food prepped. I am going to prep again tomorrow, Wednesday, as my off-lifting day. So I'm going to prep more. I do have enough to get me until Thursday. So I highly recommend that you have things like this. It doesn't have to be on the outside. I'm really anal. You can put it on the inside. Yet again, here, I might as well show you. So these are my posts. This is my PM. So that was right here. This is my morning. That was right here. These are some more supplements. So my Advil, my Ziploc bags, um, my fish oils and stuff like that. So you could have all these post-its on the inside. It doesn't have to be on the outside. And then in the middle of the day is when I do. So I'll get myself set up now. You get yourself set up at night. You should have your food prepared five to seven days, always overlapping your food. Make sure that you have enough to get you to, let's just say, it just so happens my week is a little off because my kids eat my food. My, my The baby loves sweet potatoes. My son loves chicken. Um, he loves string beans, so I'll make string beans sometimes. So sometimes the kids eat my food. But what I would recommend is, let's just say you pick two light days during the week. So on Sunday, you cook maybe to get you to Friday, and on Thursday, you cook to get you to Monday. Overlap. Or on Sunday, cook to get you through the week, and then maybe in the middle of the week or on Saturday, you cook an extra day or so just to get you to overlap. Um, so... I hope that this video helped with time management, being super anal. I didn't really actually show you, so let me show you this also. I have a million um, things set up on my phone, so my workouts. So these are my workouts, and I'm not going to show you these. But this is my leg day one. This is my shoulder day. This is my back day. This is my leg day two. This is my back and arms day. So, And then I even have pictures of this on my phone. Then I have reminders on my phone. I highly recommend getting a calendar. So I literally have, you know, uh, check my bank, check the, say happy birthday to people on fo uh, Facebook and post a motivational quote. Then every morning at five o'clock, which is right before I'm about to go do my cardio, make my son's lunch. Um, I got my fish oil reminder that goes off. These are all on repeat. These go off every single day. This is take my pre-workout at 12 o'clock in the middle of the day for my clients that um, uh, work overnight shift or when I have international clients, which I don't right now, I have my check my email. Um, and then I do Kumon. My son, I take him two days a week and then we have to do it every single day. This goes off every day at this time. Pack my supplements at night. So if I didn't do it in the middle of the day, I'll have my reminder to set it at night. Um, I mean, just like all these things are just like every Monday, I got the mail at the studio. Yes, once a week. So um, then for things that like are going to be every now and then. So every 10 days on my program, I have a reminder saved on my phone. Things that aren't every day. So let's just say for my clients, once every four weeks, they have to watch the next phase on the website. So I have a reminder saved on my phone for me. Every 10 days, I have to do something different on my cardio. So that reminder goes off at 3 o'clock in the morning. And then when I see that that reminder goes off, I reset it. So some are every day and some are reset. So, I mean, literally, you don't ever have to use the words, I forgot. I have the world's worst memory, but because of all these things, it helps me. So, you don't have to be somebody that is always forgetful or always forgetting things. or And, and then again, it's all about time management and setting yourself up for success. So, um, I plan on this being a short video, but I wanted to kind of show you a little bit of everything. So, I hope you like this. Um, if you are, if you do have a fitness goal and you are looking for a place, a program, somebody that does everything, uh, please uh, check the link, uh, GaryFitness.com. If you're somebody that's not local, we will include that link. Um, or you can email me directly, uh, and that will be in the description box. Like this, share it. If you have a friend that needs some help with getting them, their life is just crazy. Uh, I hope this helps. So, 